Welcome to Maxwell's Playbooks uh, Fitness Roadmap, and I'm Robin Finner. I'm here again with my husband, Rudy, and today we are doing something a little bit different. Um, we have some fitness news that we have um, heard about this week we thought was really interesting to share, and periodically we'll have these kinds of discussions where it won't be just about your workout, but you know what's happening in the fitness world that might be of interest to you as you plan your fitness journey and, and explore new ways to... Um, incorporate fitness into your lifestyle. To get good. Yeah, there you go. All right, so um, Rudy actually found this article. It was really good. It is from Healthline.com, and, and we both have, have looked at Healthline. And, um, good source. Yeah, uh, yeah it's a good, good resource um, a number of times, and they had this uh, piece on fitness so, trends. I'm sorry, can I jump in and say what I mean when I say good source, just for clarity's sake? Good source, yeah. because there's so yeah. much, there's so much yeah. information. Yeah. There's tons of information. What I found with, with Healthline, and, I, and I, this, is, this isn't a solicitous comment, I don't, I'm not paid by them, I'm not an employee of theirs, but I'm always looking for information that lends itself to my health, not my large chest, things that help with my blood pressure. But when people see me, they say, wow, you look like you work out. So it's a combination. And I think they're yeah. a good safe source and it's a medically supported uh, communication that I usually get from them. Thank you. Sorry. But thank you for that clarification. Yes. Okay. So healthline.com um, came out this week, I guess it was, with uh, fitness trends to expect in 2021. So mm. here we are, you know, still in uh, quarantine situations Ooh, and that ball, sort of thing. So. <laughs> Like everything else Tell that we me do, what you see. <laughs> um, <laughs> like everything else that we do, fitness is uh, evolving. Yes, um, and actually, it's pretty interesting and pretty good. It's nice that we're not just stuck with one. Oh yeah image about oh, yeah. what fitness is and what exercise is and how you can do it and all that kind of stuff. Right, right, right. So um, one of the things that appealed to me as soon as I saw the title was Lux Indoor Gyms. So <laughs> <laughs> I knew what Lux was and, and he wasn't sure of that. I but to look it up. But I'm he sorry. Knows, he knows now. So. I'm a hands-on guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I married up and that's okay. That's cool. I'm good with that. I'm, I've come to grips with my reality. But the Lux Gyms. Yeah. Fascinating as I, as I started to look at the luxury gyms, um, it was interesting because I've had a number of people, and I won't say it because it might be perceived as a negative connotation, but there are some products out there that they said, hey, I want to do this. What do you think I should do? But I'm not doing that because it's too expensive. That's when you've hit Lux Gym territory. There are a number of items out there from, um, um, I think, uh, the Mira, Peloton. Um, there's, a, there's a list here, uh, Tonal, Bowflex. Yeah. There are a number of systems that allow you to um, live in whatever universe fitness-wise you want to at home. They can be incredibly expensive. Um, the go ahead. I'm sorry. I was like, well, high end, high, high end, high end. I was yeah. yeah, yeah, manageable but high end, yeah. But fun because oh my gosh, yes. Because you know, I always wanted you know, when I first started doing the bike ride thing, you know, eight years ago, whatever. I wanted to have a screen in front of my bike so I could yes. imagine yes. where I was. I said, you Can said that I before go even such thing existed. You're I right. would, in my head, right. I would dream of riding or imagine myself riding in New York City. You're right. I did. And I said, doesn't anybody have that? And then came Peloton. Yeah. And, and others as well. And the fascinating so, thing yeah. about Peloton is I remember, okay, okay, remember, if you all have listened to us at all, you, you, she's told you, I came from the Stone Ages. There are gyms that I worked with that don't exist anymore. So you, you have to understand my point of reference. And whenever you talk to older people and they have older references, sometimes we struggle letting go. So when you talked about Peloton, when Peloton first came along, and let me just, just give you just a little evolution just real quick to, to understand clearly and for us to all be on the same page. I was, an, I was this indoor cycle instructor. There were no large indoor cycle studios, to my knowledge. If they were, they were just starting. Because I'm talking 25, 30 years ago. Started later, yeah. So uh, with Peloton, I, I was kind of like, first of all, I mean, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a man. And I've got a little bit of pride. And I'm saying, oh, nobody needs any Peloton. They got me. <laughs> Right. I mean, that's where we're going first. <laughs> and then the reality of it is I only could teach so many classes a day because at some point I got to go to sleep. And then the reality of some people's have some people have schedules that don't work. And we introduced COVID and COVID is fascinating because it has forced our hands in a lot of places. 
One of this forced our hands in the expansion of Internet access. So lots of places where Internet access was bad or not available, it's there now. So there were people who looked at tools like Peloton and couldn't really get them because it just wasn't that good. The, the Internet didn't work that well. It wasn't that effective. Yeah. So as Peloton was introduced, <clears throat> I came to grips with I'm OK and you're OK. And it's OK if we have a, a, a large number of options for folks that want to ride bikes. The short version of this is I have a doctor who asked me about Peloton, and, and fortunately for her, I was at a mature place, and I could handle it, and I said, everything I hear about them, I think is fantastic. I, 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 I'm, I'm not able to process what it's like to look at a screen, and if you're uh, applying for the service, if I, I believe it, I've not used it, but I believe we reach a point where we're communicating, where they are talking to me. It is at least a one-way communication. That's mind-blowing. She bought that bike, and Doc got, tight she got in shape yeah. and when i saw her she told me it was like love and now her and her husband it's like some of those commercials there's a bit of a tussle yeah. over who gets to ride the peloton well, then you too yeah yeah and so and so that's it but but it's but it's a, those are fantastic options the luxury gyms the questions always come down to and i and i ask people the same questions all the time it goes back to us establishing that why back at the beginning of the uh, podcast. If you haven't stop established the, po the why, if you don't really understand the why, that's going to be one of the most expensive clothes hangers you've ever purchased. Because you're going to have clothes hanging off of it that's going to become a drying station. It's going to become all of these things that a fitness tool should not be. So you still have to establish the why. But they are brilliant, and they break it down to individual specific one-on-one -on -one levels if you, are, if you choose to do so. Yeah, yeah. And I've seen the, um, the readouts that people get, and you can see your progress as you're going along. It is really awesome. So I think I need one of those, but go on. <laughs> She's not because I'm a bike instructor. I haven't matured that much. <laughs> so anyway. All yeah. right. Okay. All right. So we uh, covered the Lux Gym. Yep. So yep. also um, there is holistic fitness. Now, what is that? They describe this in healthline.com, so you can check it out um, as we go through this. But describe it a little bit, if you don't mind, for um, people who are listening and watching. And so a lot of it is, from a, a holistic standpoint, um, most of us that – were gym rats we were arms and chest that's it legs like a wren bird arms and chest we didn't think about any other body parts we didn't think about um any kind of flexibility and we certainly didn't think about recovery mm -hmm. when you when when we think about these things holistically it's the entire fitness gambit everything um my fitness routine is going to be far more effective when I've thought more about working everything, strength and flexibility. And that's why when you watch my, uh, my post, my social media post, I'm everything from jumping, running, riding, lifting. When I lift, I push, I pull, um, a number of things. I, I, I go to core, I rotate it, and I try, and I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying to be better at recovery. With each day, I grow further and further away from 50. Recovery grows even more important than it was prior to 50. It was always important. I just didn't get it. And so that holistic approach is really, is really understanding, uh, to me anyway, is, is everything, especially in the terms of recovery. And when you talk about that, the things that list is the Theraguns and the, 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 the Theragun, and there's like a thousand versions of that out now. Um, what is that? Uh, it's a vibrating boom, 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 boom. It's like a massage by a very large person that never runs out of energy. Oh, okay. And, and it's, it's like and deep it's, tissue. It's right? real, it can be really yeah. deep tissue. Some yeah. people don't like it because it's so deep it's almost painful. Yeah. But it, it, it expedites recovery, and the, and the hope is to get you back to working again. Mm -hmm. um, they also talk about this wellness no, the um, sleep mat. Yeah, so, so the there's all sorts of recovery. I have a few friends that do the um, – uh, the uh, the chambers, the, the float, the salt floats. Uh, I don't know of a lot of people that have tried the um, the cryospheres, the, um, the 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 extreme cold recovery. Um, those are, are high end generally options, but all items to expedite us to recovery, to get us back to recovery quickly. What I would suggest though is if you have aches and pains, 
I don't care if you're not working at it at all. Research these things because a lot of them yeah. will just help your day to day, even if you don't even know where a gym is in your neighborhood and don't own any equipment. Yeah. There are some things that the cryotherapy that 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 some of the different works for some of us who have issues. I think a Theragun or a high intense massage guns like that could help just the day to day. So I don't want to I don't want to limit it here. It definitely is applicable here when we're talking about this holistic concept and recovery. But I think it has uses outside. Right. Yeah. Right. OK. So this, these things help you track your progress and sleep better and yep. recover better kind yep. of all over. It's not just for fitness necessarily. But Absolutely. I mean, I, and I use I, I used a I used a um, uh, just sidebar and just going along with this thinking. When I had um, surgery, I had a, a triple hernia. My surgery, I came back and I was just like toast for that day. That next day, and now I'm not saying that I'm not a doctor. Don't follow what I say. Just I'm just giving you my my story. I used uh, f- some fitness energy drinks mm-hmm. the day after my surgery, and I'm confident. It helped move my, it helped my system get back in gear, my digestive system, mm-hmm. and it gave me energy to begin my own in-house uh, recovery. Yeah. Uh, so, so yeah, don't don't limit this stuff to just the space of a gym. Mm-hmm. It has a lot of practical applications outside. Oh yeah, I yeah. can imagine. Yeah, that sounds good. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So, what about wearable devices? Is that part of this as well? Yes. Yeah, so, so we well, it, th- that's like a, a separate topic here. One, one of the nine things they're talking about, and and when when they're talking about wearable devices, we've kind of touched a little bit on this connected fitness world. Mm-hmm. Um, I came from a place where everything, um, as as a trainer, there was a topic and a conversation about perceived exertion. And there were some indicators that you would use to get an idea of how effective the work was. Um, Eventually, there were some variations of monitors. But this stuff right here is like, I mean, so advanced. You're wearing monitors, chest monitors, wrist monitors, from um, Polar apps to Garmin to Apple. And they're telling you immediately where you are. They are imme- providing immediate feedback so that you are able to, no excuses, target this workout. Where are you trying to go? That is mind-blowing. I'm trying to have a steady cardio workout. I know I get to 110 and hold it. Keep it right there. Don't go any faster. Don't go any lower. My fat, my fat burning efficiency is like right on the top. I'm burning fat as efficiently as I can, and I'm good. I have another workout where I want a high cardio. I want high intensity. I want to get into anaerobic work. The the read the readouts and the meters are telling me everything. So, the wearable devices are just mind blowing. And I mean, they're coming out with things now. I think these guys list ring their rings, their chest straps. It's just some really impressive stuff. And more and more, I'm seeing things starting to happen with shoes, uh, things that have to do with with the way shoes work. It's not that hard to put those devices there. And as long as as soon as the science catches up there probably will be no place where you will not have a monitor that can tell you where you are in your workout, which is fantastic. Yes, I've seen those rings, and I actually am quite interested in them. Oh, because, my goodness, yes. <laughs> because I'm always wearing a watch. It's the Apple Watch, but um, and it's very good. Yeah. But sometimes I want to wear a different watch that I just want to wear because I like that Yeah, and some watch. of this is hard science, so it's hard yeah, science, yeah. so it's going to take up a minute. But keep in mind, we're talking about fitness, but as those products break through, all of you guys that have experienced any kind of heart issues or, or a number of issues, there's something physiologically occurring. Your body is doing things chemically. When those chemicals are identified and can be can be identified and monitored through these devices, life is different. What I really want is a patch. Yeah. Something I can wear in my clothes yeah. that picks up everything, and yep. I can just have wear whatever jewelry I want. Yep. I'm a jewelry girl, yep. so I, I like that. So. I get it. Anyway, a ring is a little bit smaller. Maybe they can put you know some. Yes. Something sparkly on there or something, but <laughs> yeah. anyway, okay, that's just never mind. What a show. <laughs> okay, so what about um, mindfulness yoga apps and those kinds of things, those kind of products? Is that, yeah, that's part of this too. Right? I, I mean, and, and that goes back to again, um, COVID made us change what we do. Mm-hmm. Um, I've always had interest personally in yoga because I know that flexibility <clears throat> is so incredibly critical as I grow older. And I always tell people, one of the most amazing athletes I've ever changed it, tra- tra- trained in my life was a woman who was, at the time, 73. 
Um, her flexibility was amazing. Her lifting was amazing. She wanted to strength train, and she made me rethink my entire life. I wanted to get into yoga, and I've had some hard times finding a schedule and getting it in. And eventually, I, I stumbled into, through research on YouTube, I found a yoga instructor that specialized in yoga for runners. And um, I went out there and I found a 20 minute yoga workout that boom, boom, boom. Um, I knew it was effective because she did some things. And, 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 and I said, oh, yeah. Oh, no. Whoa, 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 Are whoa, you doing whoa. it now? I, I haven't done it in the last week or so. My work schedule got a little crazy. So you're doing yoga? I, I have sometimes. Uh oh. <laughs> right, right. Uh, I have had You're some times when I, when I, I have I a moment. Well, I haven't seen you do yoga. I haven't done it with you. So are you sneaking off and doing I've, something I've, I don't know about? I've, I've unintentionally, <laughs> by some people's account, <laughs> snuck off and done yoga. But it's at weird times. It's like 1030 at night. Um, you're usually showered and, 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 and at least beginning to phase out. And I'll have a minute and I'll squeeze it. And it's not been any good formal time. I'll share it with you. Please do. Yes, I, I will. I was unaware of that. You know, yes. going on in my house. This so is here a, we are. This is a, Our this house, is, but yeah. This is a, a, a <laughs> podcast based on couples, based on a couple who works out together, and I just uh, told about a workout that doesn't include her. So I guess, okay, that wasn't Well, we good. talked about doing it, but we had yeah. never done it And I stumbled together. on it. I tried, so, I've done it a few times, uh, but but I, and I should have brought you in by now. I, I didn't. With some of these things, let me tell you all something. When I find a workout, I need to do it by myself first. First of all, I'm going to look incredibly stupid. I want to look stupid alone. I have to refine it. I can't bring anybody else in the campfire and tell them about it if I'm burning up my clothes doing what I'm doing. So, uh, I w we're yes, we're there. That's a great idea. I know. Because actually, you know, you can really build strength and yeah. muscularity. Well, it's amazing. Yogurt, and I think yoga, not yogurt. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, the other thing about yoga I really like is just that peacefulness that comes from just kind of sitting and just no breathing and, and all that that's involved in Yoga exercises and meditation and all that. <laughs> and, 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 and with the kids, okay, and with people, when all the stuff that you're going through with COVID, you know, kids home from school, yeah. they're, you know, all over the place and you're going crazy trying to work and, you know, manage the kids in school and all that kind of stuff. You know, if everybody just takes a few minutes out of the day and just does that, it just kind of brings the temperature down. And we bit. saw a granddaughter uh, taking, she she was, they did yoga in school once, yeah, when, in her yeah, kindergarten, yeah, at last year yeah, kindergarten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when she they, came in one day. It brings it down. And she yeah. came in and she said, hang on for a second. What is going on? And I realized, oh my gosh, yeah. she's taking a minute to breathe. Yeah, yes, just take. Oh it. Yep. my gosh. So yeah, no, no, I have mad respect for that, and that's something that I really feel like. Like I said, my 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 um, if I have issues, my my trouble areas in the entire uh, health and fitness arena are sleep and flexibility, and so those are things that I really need to work on. So this is a big deal for me, anyway. Right. All right. So we covered. Those kinds of uh, topics that connected uh, fitness and that sort of thing. Okay, so virtual fitness. So, um, how is that different Ew. from uh, things like Peloton? I think I think, I think, I think it's I think it. I mean, to me, it's um, a little bit of a, a, a repeat. There's different in their list. They list some different sources, but the biggest thing is. Um, I think anyway, from a virtual perspective, uh, creating it, creating these environments where I am able to interact, participate, and be a part of something uh, from my home. Mm -hmm. I don't have to go out. And it's something that I can continue as long as I want to. The reality of it is a lot of these things uh, we've learned through COVID that our, our, our accessibility, uh, a lot of things that we do can come and go. But... If I'm able to connect with you virtually, mm -hmm. work out with you virtually, and you start to really like a personal trainer, get into me, get into where I am, get into where I'm going, recite that, respond to it, and keep me on course, that's uh, that's kind of crazy. So so the, the virtual training, uh, is it's limitless. Yeah, and a lot of gyms, I guess, have started to create programs that will allow people to Most were going that. there already. Yeah. COVID helped push everybody along faster. Yeah, because they mentioned here, like Equinox – uh, you know, they have um, access to leading you know, fitness platforms like SoulCycle, Equinox, Pure Yoga, and Precision Run. Mm -hmm. Then there's Tone and Sculpt, a training app. Um, what is this? VR Zoom and Zwift. Okay. So anyway, if you're not sure about those. Yeah, it's just, it's just different those. platforms yeah, different ways that, that give that. you okay. a number of options. We, we used the more popular, mm -hmm. um, more um, 
demonstrated and advertised for platforms, but there are a number of platforms out there that offer options. And it is exactly like when you go in the gym, every trainer in there is not for you and that's okay. <laughs> Okay, is this the same as like Apple Plus and Peloton has an app right, you can use right, if you right. don't have the Peloton exactly. bike? Okay. Exactly, okay, exactly. Because we and are I mean, we're please, evaluating all of this. Yeah, and please ping yeah. us and tell us if we're wrong. Yeah. I haven't had the opportunity to use all of these, but here's what I'm going to tell you. The human equation hasn't changed. When I walk in the room, sometimes it's people are just like, we ain't never going out to dinner. I'm going to respect them, but we just, we're not, we're not going to have that kind of relationship. Some of these tools are just not going to be comfortable to you. They're not going to meet you at your why and bring you forward. So you just have to find that thing that finds you at the place where you are. It might be some some of the apps are more oriented towards an older audience. I'm, I'm not at a place anymore where I go into a gym with 20-year-olds and it works. It just doesn't work for me anymore. I don't throw plates. I don't do things the same way that I did when I was 20. And no so, pushing tires for you? And so, uh, no, I love that. I love that. But it's like the way that, that we do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's with a different age group. And that's all, and that's all good. But I'm saying, I, think these, I think the apps work the same way. There are people and apps that will work that are more in, in line with you. Find that thing because here's what I don't want you to do. I don't want anybody to start any of this have some degree of success, and in three months we're restarting the cycle again. Right. That's what I'm looking for, sustained, continuous work that yields results, that allows me to every time I go back to the doctor, the doctor says, wow. Yeah, that's what you that's want. That's pretty cool. That's the, I mean, I, I love the, the, the virtual, the internet. The, I like all of that, that. But I don't care, again, if we're going back to when I said from the beginning, the two one-gallon paint cans. If you are able to get your waist trim, get that visceral fat off of there, have strength that allows you to function throughout the day, we're good. Yeah, but you know what's really cool about this, seriously, is that um, you can get bored, perhaps, sure you by can. doing one thing. And to have all these options is sure really can. awesome because you can mix it up and... You know, it can just be a lot more interesting than doing what you're used to doing out of habit Absolutely. or whatever. You know, before, like you said, just going to the gym all the time was just what you had access to in the gym. Yeah, but yeah. now you can do it at home. You can on the road. You can do it wherever you are. And there's so many different options for you. So no that is really great to kind of mix it up a little bit. Yep. All right. Another thing they mention on Healthline.com is active video games. Now, that was that's a new one. Yeah. Really so check it. Yeah. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. I have not been out of shape, honestly, almost my entire adult life. But you have to understand, when you think you're in shape, understand you probably need a question mark behind that, and you need to really look at different situations. My granddaughter, living with me at the time, says, hey, um, come on, do this with me. And it was, uh, I think it was, I think it was, um, the Just Dance. What are the Just Dance? Oh, Just uh, Dance. Yeah, yeah. And I said, <laughs> I got some moves. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. So that was good for like five minutes, maybe 10. About minute 15, it got real. It got real. And I, I really understood, oh, my gosh, my anaerobic thresholds are, oh, my. And, and, I, and I think I was, oh, you know what? This may have actually been a time when I was not teaching. And I was not, we weren't on the grind, you and I, in terms of working out. So it was like a lull. I was in shape for an average person, but not in shape for a person that's talking yak about being in shape, right? <laughs> you can't be talking because you're not in that good of shape. And it really, it wore me out. Uh, playing the tennis games with her. Oh, yeah. Um, and she had a really couple of exercise uh, programs, and it was just like we, I don't know what it was. It was one of those. Yeah. That thing was no joke. You're right. You are moving. Oh, yeah. So active video games is for real. And it is a good way to help your kids stay in shape because we have kids who tend to be uh, more sedentary, uh, more set, sitting, lying, and doing what they do. And we are having, I mean, everybody knows the stories about childhood obesity and the numbers have changed and only uh, the good Lord knows what those numbers are now after COVID. We're going to have to do some retakes on that. But those games help to get, to get, get kids moving and it helps us to continue to move. Absolutely. And you, and you know, the other thing too, when I thought about this, I thought about going back to what we first talked about and that is your why. Mm. And when you do this, first of all, if you do something with, like this with a kid, you're interacting with them, they're yeah. interacting with you and it's a really nice thing to do. Yeah. Um, other than, you know, get after them about whatever they're not doing that you want them to do. Mm -hmm. but, but it's also, um, 
in, for as far as you're concerned, like, what is your why? I want to be able to play with my grandkids. Sure. I want to be able to run around with my grandkids. I want to be able to do whatever. I want to be able to run around with my friends. So when you do something like this, yes. um, it takes you back a little bit to like, why do I want to be in shape? Why do I want to be healthy? Because right. if you're not there just yet, um, you know, uh, you're not going to feel the same way about engaging in those kinds yep. of uh, yep. activities. So if that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. All right. Then they have solo fitness. So solo fitness. Tell me about that. People have been indoors a lot, so <laughs> they're getting out now and yeah. And I mean, just and kind it, of just out, out and enjoying the outdoors and yeah, 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 yeah. 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 And, it, and it's just Surfing. getting out and moving from the running to the riding to those that have, have access to water uh, sports and and water activities. That that list is incredibly long and, and, and a wonderful list. And, and it just really is talking about. Um, when you begin to take that entire list and you and you put it together and it looks at the trends, it just talks about what you're really seeing is what has happened as a result of us being forced into a mindset, COVID, <clears throat> um, being forced out of some places and into other places and a realization that I only have so much time to whine and cry about where I am. Mm -hmm. At some point, I got to get to work. Right. At some point, I can't gain 30 pounds baking bread all day, right? I mean, which is what a lot – I got, I got buddies. I got buddies. It sounds funny, but I got buddies that when COVID first hit, they went 20 like overnight because they got into baking bread. And I mean, it's, it's, it's a, I, I, it was hilarious the number of people that started to cook and do things as couples, and it was fun. But they were eating what they were cooking, and they were gaining weight. And it was like, whoa, 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 what's just happened here? So – there's a mindset that that was out there, uh, an understanding that I've become more still. This list begins to reflect on the, the 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 inside look and the mirror look, where I understand I got to get moving again, and then talking about the options, the options that I have available to me. Again, we're blessed. I, years ago, we tell we told the story how I trained people here at the house, and as a result. I created this, what I consider to be one of the greatest gyms in the world because it's mine and it's specially tailored <laughs> for me. And it gives me options for days from bikes to treadmill to maxi climbers to digital jump ropes to uh, dumbbells, barbells, uh, kettlebells, um, uh, ropes, um, bosa balls, uh, mats. Um, it's a lot of stuff. Everybody doesn't have that luxury. And I understand I'm incredibly blessed to have access to that. But the bottom line to it is at the end of it all, everything that we're doing seems to be, and I agree with, with, with a health line completely with this, it has become more personalized, which yes. maybe, maybe, maybe is where it should have always been. Yeah. Because the results that everybody gets I know too many people that spent too much time in gyms and I see where they are now to know that it didn't work. And it was perhaps because it was not personalized. It was not created to fit them. They went, like a hundred of us went in a shoe store that all only sold size 10. Yeah. And we all came out with shoes. Yeah. Ooh, somebody's shoe won't fit. And the answer is right. And eventually we'll see the results of the shoe not fitting. And that's what we see. And so it's caused us to take a closer look inside. And so now we're doing things that are more personalized. Um, well, that's going back to like what I said, because I wasn't going to a gym like that with all those people. That's right. That's all those right. beautiful people in the gym. No, that's right. That that's right. Me. But, uh, but, you know, just being able to try out. And actually, it was not called, it was not a luxe gym per se, but it was kind of a boutique gym. Oh, well, yes. You know, it was smaller uh, and there were fewer people. And like I said, there were more people who were closer to our age group. Yes. So um, it was kind of a nice experience. Yeah, and that is to, actually to a very good things. description for it because it was. Yeah. And it had begun to morph into, it was beginning to morph into a, an age range. Yeah. And, and, yeah. and a certain, certain people from one age would come in and say, that's not my crowd, and they roll out. Some people would come and say, oh, whoa, these are my people. Yeah. And they would yeah. roll in, and it was fascinating. So you're right, it's more like a boutique. Yeah, yeah. And so, what people's goals and objectives mm -hmm. were were more in line. Mm hmm. So, exactly. so, 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 yeah, those things. And, and I do believe as we come out of the pandemic, as we move in, I mean, that's going to be so much fun. What will we go to? Everybody's going to, going to want to get together. They will be together. <laughs> well, and that's there will true. Be something. I don't know what it's going to be, but. Uh, well, and we know, and we know we've be, talked about this yeah. before. If you all haven't done group exercise, mm -hmm. if you haven't done communal training like that, it's so much more than a gym. 
people fight now during the pandemic to get gyms open and going in. And I tell people all the time, I am blessed. I live in a house full of people. I got activity so much. You got to take a break. But for people who live alone, Mm -hmm. those gyms aren't gyms. That's not a gym. Yeah. That's like a a mecca. It's a social center. It's a community center. It's so much more. And so I get it. I understand. And I'm not going to criticize people for fighting for that because I know for some people, it's almost like taking life away to take that away from me. And so I know we'll move back into that as the pandemic eases safely um, and we move back into that, um, how they will be shaped after the pandemic who will survive the pandemic is a fascinating science and study um that i I would you know i would continue to encourage people um just like the folks at health line has provided you with a list and some go-to's and some thoughts to begin to make it more about you this training should be about you because we want it to be sustained year after year after year i'd say i don't want to be the only person 90 years old in the gym I want some other 90-year-olds. They might not. The younger people may not want to be around us, but it'll be a bunch of us in there taking up space. Yeah, we want to see you in there with us. That's right. Yeah, that's right. yeah, we want to see all of you together. So Absolutely. anyway. Okay, okay. So now um, you touched on it just a moment ago and uh, the home gym kind of thing. So, yes. so we're blessed to have that, but not everyone has the space or the equipment that you have. Um, so for someone, and this is kind of one of the questions that we got from someone we talked to recently who heard this and was saying, okay, what about this? If you've got like a really small square of space, mm-hmm. you know, um, and you don't know how to start a home gym or just what should you do if you don't have a lot of space to do anything, but you just want to kind of get a few basics in mm-hmm. to, to do some of the things that we've been advising people to mm-hmm. do, um, what would you suggest? So, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with the easiest, but then we're going to – I really like keeping this real. I get so tired of people providing all of these answers and solutions to not just fitness but all sorts of areas in life. And it's like, but that's not realistic what you just said. So I'm going to tell you something. Do 100 burpees, work your way up to 100 burpees a day, and shut it down. Your body's going to go nuts. But most people can't do that. No. Burpees are hard. I don't even, I don't even try hard. to do that at this point. So I could take you Move to, on. What's I next? Could take you, I could take you to burpees. <laughs> I'll be that person for you. Tell me what I should do. <laughs> burpees, push-ups, and if you have a step in your house, a, a tricep push, and you could almost crush your body with that alone. The reality of it is, it's so hard. Most of us cannot sustain that workout for any measurable period of time. But I will say to you, if you they have access to zero and that's all you have, do those things. And if you can't find it on the Internet, send me a note and I'll show you what it is and tell you how it is. But I can tell you right now, it is some deep breathing, heavy breathing, gasping for air. We can work on your fitness with those items alone. Now, beyond that, I'm going to say low, low budget, okay? Or just starting out because the person who is listening might not – have done right and before, I, so let me tell say me this too you yeah. said this too um i saw a workout with a guy using chairs mm-hmm. and it, that's dirt cheap because everybody has a chair chair in the house but what he was doing was so much power the average person would burst their forehead open trying to do what this guy was doing and so all of these things are there and you can work up to them just understand they're hard. They're hard movements, and you really I want you to take your time, look at them, and understand, and find a, a not so strong version of that option. But there's a lot of options out there. So your, your question again. I want to make sure I focus on what you were trying to get. Okay, I've got a five by five corner. That's all I can spare. I don't okay. have much money. What am I gonna do? You know, what? What should you, if I need some equipment? I want to feel like I'm working out. The first so thing I, I would tell I, I would tell anybody the the two We're things I would buy. I, I would buy a digital jump rope. It just sounds so goofy, but it's sixteen dollars, <laughs> and all it is is jumping up and down. But you're not really jumping, are you? Are you jumping like because there's no rope going under your feet? You so can. You, I, I can simulate yeah. a a jump rope with a mm-hmm. digital jump rope, mm-hmm. or if my, my knees or feet or something did not allow me to, I could jump but not leave the ground. Right? If I was in a space mm-hmm. or an apartment and I couldn't make any noise, there's variations of it. But I promise you this. If you begin to use a jump rope, that digital jump rope, and a closing space, you will breathe, and your cardiovascular system will be worked. You absolutely can get work in with that, and you can absolutely get developed and get results from that sort of work. So I would get a digital jump rope. I would consider some variety, some version of an inexpensive or used dumbbell. That's harder to find pandemic. 
I, I, and I'm going to just be realistic. I'm going to say these things, but I know they're hard. I wanted to buy a, a kettlebell, and I couldn't find a kettlebell, and I found a, um, a kettle grip, uh, a grip that grips dumbbells that's, that creates a kettlebell uh, option. That was awesome for me because that meant I couldn't find the kettlebells, but it gave me an alternative that allowed a kettlebell and kettlebell swings with a tight space. A kettlebell swing, just a kettlebell is an amazing tool. And there's so much you can do with it because oh you gosh. don't just swing it. You can lift with it and, and all that. So it's, there are it's lots endless. of things you can it's do endless. with it. That's endless. Um, so, so, so those, those are things I would, I'm always. I, and ba- I, I was going to say bands too. Because bands, people have traveled with bands for a while because they've traveled Absolutely. with them in hotels. Yes. So a set of bands, kettlebell if you can, or yeah. the adapter. And, and actually, yeah, and, and because with the, let me let's say with the yeah. bell, the bands to, to make sure that I'm not uh, skip, skipping over that. Mm-hmm. Bands allow you to pull and to push mm-hmm. and to simulate any number of motions. So you're right. Th- there, it's going to, are you going to become Mr. Olympia or train and develop for the next Olympiad with bands? Probably not. But if you have not worked out before, or if you have limited time or space like you described, they can be magic. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Or if you travel to keep bands in your bag, absolutely. Absolutely. You, 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 it might take you more reps than you had before, but you start doing a bicep curl with a band, mm-hmm. just get it tight enough. Stand, so okay, if, you, if it's too loose, just open your legs a little bit, spread it, make it tighter. You can create resistance. Yeah, and they come oh, with yeah. different, different and resistance even, I said, too, Even so if you yeah. had one and mm-hmm. couldn't buy a whole bunch of them, you just move your feet around, yeah. you can create resistance. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, you can. Yeah. Another thing I find myself doing sometimes is when I'm on a phone call, I look at my watch. Whoop! Haven't said you know walked around for a minute. Um, I'll start walking while I'm on the phone, and just you know back and forth in whatever space it may be. You know you can walk back and forth watching TV. Um, so yeah, but you just got you got to keep moving. And that whole and thing is standing, like, yeah. but standing. Mm-hmm. When when uh, Apple first came out with with the whole rings and all of that, I was just like out there. What kind of? This is crazy. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. And. I rejected, rebuked, and then I researched. The more research I did, the more it started to make sense. The more I fell in line with closing the rings on the Apple Watch, the more I found that my daily habits were habits, they became habits that resulted in weight being steady or even weight loss. I did find that my core had to do this if I did this. I found that my active calories had to be here if I did this. I found that if my active calories were at this level, my weight was going to be here. And so it was kind of like, yeah, they're smarter than me. Yeah. And, 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 and it just took, I had to come to grips with technology had overtaken my old school ways of thinking about fitness. And once I got in line, I know what my, I have a target weight and I can keep my weight right there. And I know whatever I'm coming out of line, my behavior is moving away from that. I know, and those rings help me. Yeah. They absolutely can help. Good. Okay, so we had one more question um, that someone asked about recently and they wanted to know, well, they, they suggested that, you know, um, it's easy for us to work out because you work out, work out together. And as you heard a little bit earlier, um, we don't always work out together because someone is doing yoga Ruh-roh. and someone is not doing yoga. Someone was not aware of the other person doing yoga. Ruh-roh. However, <laughs> wah, wah, wah. beyond that, though, um, I'll say that we work out together on Saturday mornings. So when you see us on social media and we've got videos or some pictures of whatever we've been doing together, that's one day a week. The yeah. rest of the week, we yeah. don't work out together and we work out nearly every day. Yeah. But uh, we just have different schedules. My, um, he'll do something super early in the morning, and I'm not going to get up at 6. Um, or he'll come home from work sometimes and work out, you know, after that. And I've, I've, my energy level is, you know, diminished at that point from doing what, what I've been doing all day. Um, but I work out first thing in the morning um, when, do, once I get up because I want to make sure I get that done and out of the way. That is my time, um, and I do that um, unless there's some emergency. Uh, or something that comes up that I, you know, can't help otherwise. I mm-hmm. do that every day. Um, but, yeah, we don't work out together necessarily. So um, it's a great way to have your own time, mm-hmm. um, to figure out what it is that you like, 
um, to new to, to discover something new you might want to share with someone. So when we do get together on Saturdays, mm-hmm. um, it'll be like, hey, add this onto the playlist or whatever. Um, we've come up with uh, individually. He'll show me something new that he's done. I'll sh- share something new that I've done. Um, so great to work out with someone, but you don't have to. So and we don't always work out together. Yeah, and and I and I will say this. I'll say for first. Let me say for um, couples, for husbands, I'm going to call us out. And I'm going to be very clear and very specific with this. We have to create the environment that allows our wives to work out. You think in terms of a tackle in a football game who protects a quarterback. No one is going to get to my quarterback. I'm going to risk life and limb. And it is with that mindset that I set up her workout environment. When she tells me what she needs, she knows don't joke with me. Because if you say, hey, you know what would be interesting? She said something about ankle weights the other day. Before the conversation <laughs> was done, the ankle weights were being delivered by, um, by, by my Amazon team. Um, I think we have to be cognizant and conscious of what's being said, and then we have to guard their time. I'm always telling her I am not going to overbook or overschedule that allows something to interfere with her workout. It's not going to happen. My kids know you can call if you want to, but I'll grab the phone. <laughs> if it interferes with her workout, you're not going to – you might get away with it once if it's like an emergency, emergency, but that's not normal. So we have to protect that time because I need that to happen because you can't do anything if your health begins to subside or you begin to lose something, especially those things that you could have done something to prevent. I'm not talking about disease or something like that, but I'm just talking about you weren't able to work out, so your conditioning was less and less. That's not going to happen, not, not on my watch. The alien's going to have to come and get me before that happens, so you have to protect it. And then for single people, I need you to understand something. I don't care if you have the brain that runs a billion-dollar operation. We've watched great leaders and smart people die, and that was the end of it. It, didn't ma- it doesn't matter all of those things if your health is gone. And that's why I'm going to say, first and foremost, you have to fight for these workouts. You've got to fight for it. If, if we have an argument, it's very few things that we ever argue about. But one of the things is I was squeezing in a workout when she didn't think I had enough time because I've realized <laughs> – She doesn't want a fat husband. She doesn't understand that like I do. A fat guy, for me, waddling around asking what we're eating, not able to breathe, and not being able to help move the furniture around, and not being able to help to do any of the things that I'm able to currently do is not going to work for her. I know it isn't. It's not what she's looking for. It's not her vision. It's not her dream. She'll lose sight of that. I don't. It never, I never lose focus. I get up in the morning, we got something to do. I'm getting my two-mile run in. I'm going to get it in. She might be yelling at me when I'm done, but I'm going to get that run in. And it always works out schedule-wise. You have to understand and you have to prioritize your care and your concern. This list that Healthline had is a good list. It's a great list to work from and a good list of trends. But you have to really take this time and understand I'm not talking about selfishly. I'm not talking about making life about me. That's a crazy way to live, and everybody knows that. I'm talking about your health has to be first, because even if you have the power to heal dead people, you can't help anybody if you're dead. It's (laughs) worthless. It's you, Man, that guy was incredibly blessed. Too bad we're having his funeral today, especially if it's something that you can do anything about. I I had a relative to tell another relative one time, and I'll never forget it. He had a problem eating, and she said, you are digging your grave grave with your teeth. Let me say that again. She said to him, Mm -hmm. you are digging your grave with your teeth. She was telling him, you eat too much. And if you don't get your diet together, it is going to kill you. Mm -hmm. And it did. And so it made me wake up and understand there is no greater, greater priority than your health. Find these lists. Find the thing and do it. Yeah. I'll good. stop preaching now. Sorry. Okay. Well, yeah. And, and you are very good at looking out for what I need. And I try to look out for what you need, too. Um, and so we have to look out for each other. So it could be that, uh, ladies, you might have a husband or someone in your life who... You who doesn't know. sleep. And you have to tell him, you have to sleep. And he says, sleep when you die. And you have to tell him, that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. So you're going to die. And, and go on and no, go on and but, so on and so on. But you do want it to... You want to look out for each other. You want to look out yeah. for your friends. You want to look out for yeah. your family. You want to look out for your parents. You want to try to encourage them to get, you know, yeah. get, you know shaped up. That's right. um, and anyone else, you know, just to... Because that is... 
you know, you've got one body, you got one life. That's right. And you want to take care of it. So that's what we really are here to do, just to encourage all that. That's right. All right. So um, I think with that, we're going to wrap up this session. Um, and please um, check out healthline.com for uh, references to things we've mentioned. Um, and if you have questions for us, send them to Robin at Maxwell's Playbook.com. And as you can see, we will address them and talk about things that we've heard from people who have watched or listened to um, this program. So thank you very much for listening. Mm-hmm. Be blessed.